I always wonder if people know about what's going on. Look at that telephone pole. That looks like it's gonna fall over. I wonder if anyone knows. How you doing today? So I just went to my dentist again in Brookline and it happens to be lunchtime. So my physical therapist, shout out to Travis, suggested Anna's Taqueria in Brookline. So it's nine minutes away. You're able to order online. So I ordered a burrito. That was his recommendation was a burrito. I'm on my way to pick it up. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. We're up to over 600 and I don't know, 40 or so. I don't even remember anymore now. Uh, the next uh, level I'm trying to get to is 750 subscribers. And then of course we're on our way to a thousand subscribers someday. See if it ever happens. But I'm having fun doing these reviews. I started out doing just Seltzer Bar Style Pizza, as you know. And now I'm doing different places. I love Mexican food. So this place is supposed to be authentic Mexican tacos, burritos, and, and what have you. I can't wait to try this out and let everybody know how it is. And it's supposed to be authentic Mexican. Let's find out. Oh yeah, and there's a big game this weekend if you haven't heard. Some guy, uh, Tom, is coming into town and he's playing, I think he plays for the Bucks. So, big Patriots game. Tom's coming to town, which we all know he's the greatest of all time. He's going to kick our butt, but that's okay. I still like Tom. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Uh, my wife is very upset that he left us. She doesn't like him anymore. Hey, I still think he's the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. And there is no conversation to be had. He's the greatest that ever played the game. And he's coming to Foxborough for probably the last time. Wish I could get tickets, but I think they're a little out of my price range to get tickets to that game. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you think Tom's the best quarterback to ever play the game? Do you hate him? What's up? So there's really just no parking. I'm trying to find a spot that I can park and just run in, but there really is no parking. I think I'm gonna park up here. Oh no, I can't, that's a bus stop. So the one drawback is that there's no parking. Okay, we are finding a spot that's not really a spot. And we're gonna park. I know we're not supposed to park here, but hopefully I'm not gonna be here very long. All right, out in front of Annie's Taqueria, right here. How you doing? I did a uh, online for uh, Russ. Russ. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Would Thank you like you. to be in it? No. no. <laughs> there, was a, there was a Karen in there. I was videotaping. I, I don't know if I kept the camera on, but she was asking what I was doing. Hoping I had the camera on. It's kind of funny. She's just a customer and uh, asking if I needed any help. Pretty funny. Anyway, let's find out how good it is. it is. Let's see. Oh yeah. This is really good. I wish I got here a little earlier. It's not as hot as it probably would have been. But I couldn't find a parking space. In fact, I really never found a parking space. I'm uh, in an illegal spot right now. Mm. 
I got mine with Mexican rice, black beans. I got carnitas, and the uh, the pork is really good. Mm-hmm. I actually wish I got a little salsa. I'm not sure if that was a thing, but I got a uh, sliced avocado. Haven't come across it yet. This is so good. I actually wish I just went in and had them make it like you do. You know, it's kind of like Chipotle where you go in and just tell them what you want. And they put it together so it's fast. I kind of wish I did that, but I tried the online thing. The yeah, online was easy enough to do. Found my way to the avocado. The avocado is very good. They also have different size. You can get a small, medium, or a large. A large was crazy because it was, I think it was $17. I can't imagine how big it, it would be. I got a medium. So again, if you find yourself in Brookline, if you can find a parking space anyway, near Anna's Taqueria, possibly could find it further up on the street and then you could walk down. But I was trying to find one right here so I could pop in and get it. Lots of places to eat along here. I have no idea what's good, what isn't good, but this is good. So find your way over here, get on in, find Karen, she's in there and tell her Russ sent you and start videotaping right away when you walk in. It goes over big. Have a great day. So I'm wondering whether I should just walk and take a chance in this parking space or just drive down and see. Cause I, I think I've found parking spaces out in front of Union Square Donuts before. Union Square Donuts are one of the best donuts that we have in this area. So, if I'm this close to Union Square Donuts, you know what I'm gonna do. So, Union Square Donuts is right down here. We have found it. Hopefully, they still have donuts. I found myself a parking space just across the street. Uh, I had a tough time getting into it, but hopefully I can get out of it. So, let me see if anyone lets me cross. I'm not in a crosswalk, so I don't expect it. I got, hey, I got a couple feet over here and got a foot in the front there, so we're fine. Actually, I got a cinnamon roll, that's right. Marciano cinnamon roll or something. Oh boy, look at this thing. Mm-mm. Whoa. Mm-hmm. It just looks so good in the window. When I said, give me that. And it's good. It is a little bit cold. I wonder what it'd be like in the morning if they're warm. So good. I ordered it. She said just one. Nah, I think I know why. Well worth it. Make your way over to Brookline. Even though you gotta deal with Karen. All the Karens. And no parking. And all that. And it's Taqueria is well worth it. And then Union Square Donuts. They don't make them any better. This is really good. Cinnamon roll. What can I say? Get over there. Go into Union Square Donuts. Yell out, Russ sent me. And they'll... You, you're not going to believe what they're going to do. You'll find out when you get there. And the same with Anna's Taqueria. Go in there. Take out your, your camera and start videotaping. And say, Russ sent me. And... Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Anyway, if you enjoy what I'm doing, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate everyone that's already done that and that you keep watching. 
I don't know why you're watching some old guy run around eating every day, but hey, sticking it out there. Actually, no, trying to do some true reviews of these places. If the places aren't good or I don't think they're good, I'm, I'm telling you that. And I'm just trying to give you a description of the place. Try to get a little video inside. I know a lot of people find me uncomfortable in there with a the video camera, but I try to get a little video of inside the places so you can see what they're like if you've never been there before. And then I just try to give you a description of the food. You may agree with me, you may not. But anyway, have a great day. So I had never got the cinnamon roll from Union Square Donuts. And I actually, I must admit, I thought I was getting a donut. I thought it was a cinnamon roll donut. But this cinnamon roll is unbelievable. Has anyone ever eaten at this place, Koopal's? Bakery, breakfast sandwiches, cream cheese catering, bagels. Anyone eating there? Let me know in the comments below if I should try it out. It looks pretty good. And this Tate Bakery right here. There's a bakery over there and this Tate Bakery there. And I know that Tate Bakery and Cafe is excellent. So let me know if you know about this place. And then the people riding bikes in Brookline they really have no clue. I mean, she didn't really do anything wrong right there, but man, they come flying up on these bike, you know, the bike lanes that they have. They go flying through red lights. They're just, ah, they're just crazy. I'm gonna see if I can capture something on, on video because they really are nuts. Let's see if this guy does anything stupid. I mean, it's, I know it's hard to navigate the city on a bike, but sometimes the stuff I see is just crazy. Interesting. Garlic and lemons, Mediterranean inspired great food. And then Dumpling Kingdom. If you've ever been to any of these places, let me know love to come try to try them out but be good to know from somebody if they're worth uh, doing sweet kingdom dessert kung fu tea and then it looks like another bakery lots of bakeries around here this side of the street looks pretty gloomy um the beauty salon's not so beautiful let's see Cafe Brazil Bakery. That looks like it might be good. Blanchard's Liquors, they've been there for a while. Mala Kung Fu. And of course, My Young Dong. I always get a kick out of that place. Huh, what do these guys have? There you go. Got some artwork or something. And delivering it over here or maybe getting it framed the frame store All right. street food revolution let me know if you know of any and then the draft bar and grill let me know if any of these are worth uh, checking out alright here we go with the bikes let's see what this guy does so of course there's no bike lane for him I'm in the right lane to take a ride so he didn't have any place to go so he came flying up here, but, but he's at a red light. And that's what I want to see. He looks like he just wants to go. Now, of course, it says no turn on red. So, of course, I can't take a right on red. But let's see the decision that this guy makes. Well, so far, so good. But that's because this car is coming. All right, so we got, yeah, and okay. So it, it was turning green, but if he could have went before that, he would have went through that red light. There's no doubt in my mind. 